to see. It looks like you're getting a lot of reps, maybe next maybe you can use the first team reps. Is, is that the kind of work you've been getting lately? Uh, yeah, it started like uh, halfway through spring ball. Um, you know, after the season, uh, I had a lot of stuff to work on, uh, technique-wise, coming from junior college. Um, so, you know, I've just been working. I was, I was working during the season, working off season, uh, first couple weeks of uh, spring camp. And then, uh, you know, I just, I was the next man up. And I've been running with the ones uh, for about two weeks now. So. Obviously, you, you enrolled early with the intention of, you know, giving, giving that a leg up to, to playing time. How would you characterize, you know, your, your last season at Pitt? Um, you talking about this past season? Yeah, yeah, this past season. Uh, I mean, it was a, it was a learning curve for me, mm -hmm. you know, because I didn't really get that much playing time sure. uh, coming, you know, being a two-year starter at Lackawanna. But you know, it was it was a learning it was a learning step for me. So I learned a lot of new technique, and I was really settling in to playing guard. I, I played tackle pretty much my whole life, so I'm just you know learning the techniques as a guard. And you know, it's, a, it's a different type, and we ran a different type of offense than I've ever been a part. It was very heavy run, so you know it was just a big learning curve for me. But thankfully, I've been you know, getting better and learning. Well, what were some of the biggest things? I mean, you talk about. The different kind of offense, but what were some of the biggest things you felt like you needed to adjust to? Was it mostly mental? Was it more physical things? Or? Uh, probably a little bit of both, um, you know, because I've always been like a spread type offense, and, you know, we, saw, we didn't really pass the ball a lot. Uh, so, you know, just making sure I was getting lower, you know, playing guard down in the, uh, down in the box, just make sure I was getting lower, uh, more of a more of a strike, just coming off the ball harder. Um, that's pretty much it. And then the mental, you know, just learned a no, whole new playbook uh, coming in here. Uh, learn new ter terminology, um, a lot more technique and terminology here than at my previous school. But um, you know, it took a while, but finally got everything down. How do you feel you guys have come together? Uh, I think we've come together really good. Um, you know, Coach Borby's been saying, you know, we're light years ahead of last year when uh, we started spring ball, um, and I feel like all the younger guys have stepped up. You know, Carter Warren, uh, Jay cradle has been doing good, Gay Boy. Um, I think everybody's just been stepping up. You know, we only have, I'm the only senior, but it feels like, you know, we got like four or five other seniors from younger guys because they're stepping up too. But, I mean, we all bond, we all hang out on the weekends, uh, you know, got our own group chat, all that stuff. We, we just, we're tight, tight group. You're at right guard, right? Yes. Who's going that next to you on, on, your, on your right side? Uh, Gabe Hoy is at right tackle. Obviously, you guys lost four starters on the line. I mean, Bryce had to step in there at the end of last season, but is this, how wide open is that competition? You mentioned you're the only senior right now. You've got another one coming in. You mm -hmm. flipped a, a defensive tackle over. Is it pretty much open season for everyone across oh, yeah, the sports? It's spots? still open season. Um, no, one, no one's getting comfortable. Like you said we got another uh, transfer coming in, so it's going to be tight with the tackle. Uh, and you know, I'm not, I'm not getting laxed or anything. Nobody is. Uh, pretty much, the only person we have set in stone is well, Bryce and Jimmy when Jimmy comes back. But everything else is open season. And then plus, you got the guys. Um, the backups, this coach likes to have seven, eight guys ready to go. Um, so everybody's just, you know, fighting for a spot, trying to get playing time for the season. What do you want to get out of Saturday, Hinesfield? First, I want to get a win. Whatever team I'm on, first, I want to get a win. Steak and lobster. Uh, but I just want to make sure, um, you know, because the o line's going to be split up. Everybody's going to be split up. I just want to make sure, especially my position group, that everybody shines and uses the right technique. And it just looks like both teams have the first. First, uh, first team offensive lines.